Welcome to part 2 of my tutorial on how to make a car crash in 3DS Max. Um, in this part of the tutorial we are going to tackle the crumpling of the metal. As you can see if you followed along from the last tutorial that we have got the car going into the metal. But nothing happens to the car apart from all these bits fly off. Which isn't what we want just yet. So back to frame zero, we can tackle this. So basically what we need is two copies of the metal, um, which is the red uh, section of the car here. So if we just copy it across like this, right, so and then make sure it's copy and we can just call this one crashed. And if we just rename this one, if you go into modify and call this one original. Basically, we need two copies of this. Well, we need two of them so that one can be the crumpled one and one can be just the original one. And the crumpled one will be used with the morpher modifier to create which will allow us to animate it. So basically what we want to do is um, un so technically at the moment both of these are linked to the box so as you see as it drives along they're both linked. So what we want to do is unlink the original one for now because of the fact that we want to be working with the crashed one at the moment just so we can get the shape of it. So now if we just align uh, the crashed one which is still linked to the box to the original one so that just puts it back in position um, but this one's the original one still and this one's the crash one, remember that. And um, so we go to top view and literally if we just go over here and turn off grid for now, we can move forwards to where it's into the cylinder or wherever it's crashing into the most. And basically now we're just going to deform it so that we can, you know, make it look like it's collided. So I'm just going to go into vertex selection mode. And instead of going one by one and moving them, I'm going to go to uh, soft selection and use soft selection. I'm just going to start off by just grabbing this and just pushing. Ah, oh, should have probably, probably done a bit better with selection. So I'm just going to push, start pushing these around to kind of wrap it round the pole. Right, so so once you kind of got uh, where are we? What, if we hit Z, it zoom to wherever we are. So yeah, so we kind of got the crash. And if you kind of go in, you can kind of just push and pull different verts. And because we've got soft selection on, it kind of makes a rough selection of, of the the ones around it. So we can kind of just move them, and we're just trying to jiggle it up to kind of uneven the surface. So here we go. Let's just move this all along like that. So if we come out of vertex mode, you can kind of get an idea of what we've just done. We've, um, you know, crumpled the car up. Um, you can obviously do uh, a lot more damage than just this, but for this tutorial, I think this would do. Um, so technically, what we've got is the car. We've got what the after. We have the, the result of the collision done now, so we can see that the car is now dented. But we don't want it dented the whole time. So what we want to do is, okay, right. So we've got the original one here, and we also have the crashed one. So technically, we we don't want the crashed one linked to the box anymore, which is hidden. Remember. So we're just going to want to unlink selection. So now at the moment, we don't have the crashed one, which we can just move out now. Or, and we don't also have the original one connected. So if we just unhide all, which is now shown in the box, and we can just uh, select the original metal and just link it back. So now, and then just hide the box again. So now you can see that we actually do have the normal car there. However, when it crashes, uh, well, we technically have what we had before. Nothing happens. But we, but what we do have now is we have the uh, the crashed mesh here. So if we go into, uh, if we select this one, oh, 
uh, control Z, I didn't mean to do that. So if we go into this one here and um, we go to modify list and we add a morph uh, modifier in, we can literally just go uh, to the third mixture on the first slot and just pick object from scene. You can pick it, and as you see, as you bring this level up, it dents the car. So look, now we have control of how much of the denting comes through which is useful and it's how we're going to animate the, the, the crash. So if we go to, in fact we can actually just hide the crash layer now we don't actually need it anymore. So if we come along now and we go to where we want the crash, well, where we want it to start crumpling which is there, frame 12. Actually you can start it a frame before and then it's a bit more of a better animation. So if you just do this and we just like quickly just like do that up and down, that it means it just sets it to zero the whole way along there. It just adds a keyframe. Now if you go to I'm just gonna go to there to frame thirteen, I'm just gonna bring that up to a hundred. So now as it crashes into the the pole it uh dents and then by the time it's going off the pole it's fully dented and that is the finish of the animation. So that is how you accomplish that. So now if we watch this through, we actually do have the car that dents as it goes through, which is really useful. It's not as um, um, time consuming as using the cloth modifier. And, um, but also, it's just, it's just a different way about it, I guess. I find this method easier than cloth because I just find it confusing the cloth method and um this is just quick and easy and also you can um <coughs> sorry if you unhide all again and then just hide this box if you were to make another duplicate of this just like that co copy crash day one just leave it like that and if we were to go into make sure soft selections selected again and to dent up the roof like this, we just uh, take some of the roof selection and just like push it down, so as if it's like been dented the roof. So say if like it's crashed and then like a brick falls onto its roof, it'd be really unlucky. But say if that happened, you go into empty slot two, pick object from scene, select it, um, which is the other crashed one, and then literally you animate it. However, you an like you animated the first one. So look, now we've got two crashes. See. So that's how I would uh, create it. So you can keep on adding more and more different um, crashed objects to um, for every time the car collides with something else, which is um, really useful. So say if a, a big boulder was to fall on the roof, you can just crash it some more. But yeah, so that's how um, I would deform the car. In the next tutorial, I'm going to go through how to smash the windshield on the front uh, with particle flow inside of 3ds Max